Hey, 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 it's your girl Evelyn and I am back with another video in the self-care series. And today I again want to veer on the side of the business self-care and I want to talk to you about six reasons why increasing your prices is a form of self-care. And I know you're like... <laughs> what girl yes really yes increasing your prices is a form of self-care so before we get into that i want to let you know that i now have an instagram specifically for this channel and i would love to connect with you over there so if you just go to instagram to the evelyn inc and we can engage over there in the instagram stories i can show you a little behind the scenes day in the life type stuff of a uh, creative entrepreneur that works from home and also you know things i do to live my best life right because the whole point of self-care is to keep yourself in a place where you can really enjoy this life while doing great work and helping people so anyway the evelyn inc find me over there i'm excited so you know as always i have my notes here because i care about you i care about your self-care i care about your business and i take this very seriously even though i mean seriously in a sense of like not super serious and stoic but like you know I, I value your time there we go I value your time and so you and I are here we're having a quick little chat we're having a conversation in this video and uh I value that so I'm always come prepared not always come but most of the time I'm gonna come prepared unless I'm just yapping to y'all so notes are here let's jump right into the six reasons why raising your prices is great self-care for your business okay reason number one the, the the reason and these are not in any particular order but these are just this is reason number one of six and that is is that your prices are based on the value you provide not cost so let me say this when people want to work with you when people want to buy from your business they're investing in themselves whatever it is that you sell whatever it is that you offer product or service right it is it is there is a value to that that usually is more than the cost of that thing and so when you raise your prices you are establishing that this is a value exchange you're exchanging the value of your currency for the value of what I'm offering not cost for cost for example if you really think about what cost is like think about your cell phone okay the actual cost to produce your cell phone is significantly less than what they charge us however because of the value of the phone i can stay connected to my friends and family i can do business i can shoot videos i can edit videos i can listen to music i can watch movies i can listen to podcasts i can do social media i can do all these things right the value of your phone is higher than the cost of your phone and so that's the same thing in your business you know you're establishing the value what you require in currency to get the value in exchange right so even if you sell a product right if it's making people's lives easier if it's making it more convenient if it's giving them a desired outcome or result there's a value in that that is more than the cost of what it takes for you to produce that product and when it comes to you those of you that are offering services absolutely there is a value of your time there's a value of the transformation that you're providing and all of that so there's a value over a cost so that's the first reason is that you are establishing your value okay the second thing and i kind of got ahead of myself is that it's it is about the transformation right so for example let's say you're someone and you build websites right so the actual cost of you building the website is one thing but what that person will be able to do in the next 30 days 60 days 90 days a year five years until they do another website um is invaluable the transformation maybe they had a website but the website wasn't making sales for them and so you knew how to build them a website that was optimized to make sales that's that transformation of I'm not just building your website but what I'm really doing is creating a framework for you to make more sales is huge and so you you base your value off of the transformation right and so 
you when you raise your prices to match the value and you're clear about your transformation, you draw in people who are looking for that transformation. So the first thing is you are about value, not cost. And the second thing, it's about the transformation that you provide. The third reason why increasing your prices is a great form of self-care is because if you are going to change people's lives through what you do, your life should change as a result. So one of my coaches says this all the time. She was like, if I'm going to be coaching you or mentoring you or offering you a product or service that's going to have a positive change in your life, in your business, then as a result, I should also have a positive change in my life or my business. If I'm teaching you how to um, have strategic self-care and that's going to make you feel better, more rested, have better relationships, function better in your business, enjoy life more, enjoy your time better, all that kind of stuff and that's life changing, then if you work with me, then the price that I charge should also change my life as a result of me changing your life. Does that make sense? So think about whatever you do, whatever you offer, even if it's a product, you could even be selling something like natural hair wigs, okay? And there is value there because now maybe I big chopped and I'm not really comfortable with my short hair. Maybe I, you know, got sick with an illness and I temporarily lost my hair and I don't want to be bald. Maybe I have alopecia. Maybe I like to work out, but I still want my hair to look really good and I don't feel confident of what my hair looks like after I work out. Maybe it's, you know, I have a really hectic schedule and I have newborn kids and I still want to film on YouTube videos, but I want my hair to look nice. It's more than just the wig. It's the transformation and the value that you're providing with that. And so you're changing people's lives, even with a product that may not seem um, as like deep, okay, as like a life coach or a business coach or something like that. That is still changing somebody's life. And so you charge in accordance to that, okay? So you have to be really clear about the value that you provide, the transformation that you provide, and how it's going to change people's lives. And when you do that, you'll have the confidence on how much you should charge. And I can tell you, it's probably more than what you're charging right now okay so let's keep going let's keep going is this good so far let me know in the comments like are you like yes girl I need to I need to increase my prices in my business and here's the thing if you are not a creative entrepreneur right and you're watching this video the same goes for you in negotiating your salaries okay it's more than just did I do the job okay it's it's about the extra ideas that I have my experience my training okay the level of influence I have with people who don't directly report to me okay it's you know my connections it's other experience that may not seem related to this job but that the job benefits from it's you know it's it's the value of my presence and so when I'm negotiating my salary it's more than just the things that are on my resume I need to communicate all of who I am and then require the value for that. Okay, so let's keep moving. So let's go on to the fourth reason why charging higher prices is a form of self-care. And there was a business and life coach that I used to follow. I never worked with her, but I think she was really fantastic. And one of the things she used to say is when you charge lower prices, you draw the kind of clients who need a gallon's worth of transformation and they are paying a cup's worth in investment. And so you're trying to pour a gallon worth of transformation and value into their cup size investment and it makes a mess, right? And typically when you don't charge enough for your products or services, sometimes you, you know, your motivation is a little bit lackluster. Sometimes you resent the clients because you're like, I, you, what you think you paying for? You only paid $97 for this and you think you're going to get the world, right? And so instead of having that feeling, the real deal is you need to increase your prices so that you can serve and, and over deliver the way that you really, really want to. Okay, so now let's go into number five, the, the fifth reason on why increasing your prices is a great form of self-care. Listen, when you increase your prices, you can serve at a higher level. If you're anything like me, when you are compensated well in your life, you're, you're just a natural giver. You want to do things for people just because you want to give gifts just because you want to get the best gift off the wedding registry. You want to get the best gift off of the baby shower registry. You want to surprise people. You just 
want to give and be generous. And here's the thing. If you're not charging enough in your business, it doesn't allow you to be all of who you are and you are a giver, right? And so don't allow yourself to be in a place where because you're not requiring your value, you're not charging a high enough price that you don't get to be all of yourself, yet you're still trying to, you know, exceed expectations and overgive in that business relationship, right? So make sure that you are setting yourself up in such a way that you are able to be all of who you are and give and overgive and over and serve at a level okay that you really want to and not feel like you have to restrain yourself because people aren't compensate compensating you at that level does that make sense okay i hope this is good this is this is good stuff if i do say so myself and like evelyn from the internet says and i do say so myself okay Number six, number six, the sixth reason why increasing your prices is a great form of self-care for not just you before your business is that you draw in a different type of clientele. When I have found when I am working with people that have invested in themselves through me at a high level, it's just a different type of person. Okay, they are not super needy. They're not blowing up your email inbox. They're they're not demanding. They show up. They do the work. They're appreciative. They free flowingly give testimonials. They rant and rave about your products and services. They recommend people to your business. Like they give freely of their gratitude and their thankfulness because you were able to serve at a high level and it's a great exchange of value and energy whereas people who wanted to invest the minimum okay and they usually give the minimum and they're trying to get the most for the minimum okay and here's the thing this is not about people who are just at a place where they may not be able to afford your higher prices this is not about that people go through different seasons so this is not about demeaning people who may not be able to afford your products and services this is about the people who just in general like i'm not i'm i'm not paying this i'm not doing that i'm not and they want to deal on everything and here's the thing even when people can't afford your products and services you know that's okay that everything is not for everybody and i know we live in a culture of inclusion and diversity which i think is a beautiful thing but in reality in life everything is not for everybody and i'll give you a perfect example that i had a chef ask me once because if you guys know on my um in my other business i uh, teach chefs how to grow high-end culinary brands and i had a chef on one of my videos ask me you know how do you be a personal chef for, to low-income families and i say you don't when's the last time you've heard of a low-income ha- family having a personal or private chef you don't and he was like Oh, I never thought about it that way. And I was like, you know, that's a luxury service. That's a premium service to have your own chef preparing your meals. And so that is no shade to that family that's low income or can't afford it. But that's just not a part of their reality at this time in this phase of their life. Right. So the same thing goes for your business. When you increase your prices, you have to be okay with the fact that everything is not for everybody. And I'll give you a bonus tip on why raising your prices is a form of self-care and if you and and this tip is more so for your clientele but it's also for you if you've ever thought about investing yourself and you always put yourself on the clearance rack or you always go straight to the clearance rack or straight to the sales and you never allow yourself to buy things at, at full price or you don't even look there first is that when you require higher investments of people it requires more of them. It requires them to commit to themselves at a level that they cannot walk away from. And my coach says that all the time. Like, part of the reason why she charges the way she charges is because it does something to the person who's investing that they can't quit because it got harder. They can't quit because they weren't in the mood anymore, that it forces them to show up because they invested at such a level. And I really believe that I've seen that in my own life. I've seen that in the lives of my clients, that the people who have worked with me at a high level get the work done. They show up. They are about it. They figure out a way. They're disciplined. They get over their feelings. They don't let their feelings run them because feelings will run you ragged. Feelings are real. They're just not facts. I'm going to say that again for the people in the back. Hashtag bars. 
Feelings are real, <laughs> but they're not facts, right? And so when you require people to invest at a higher level, their commitment level is higher, their discipline level is higher, their level of figure outness, if that's a word, is higher. And so it's the same for you. If you haven't been investing in yourself at a high level, you may struggle to get people to invest in your business at a high level because it's incongruent that you want them to invest in you at a high level or in themselves through you at a high level but you haven't invested in you at a high level and so um if you haven't i really want you to think about that there's probably an area of your life where you know you need support where you know you need you know mentorship or coaching or you need to up level and i would really challenge you and encourage you to invest in yourself at a high level stop looking for the clearance stop looking for the sale when it comes to investing in yourself because if that's how you do yourself then that is how people are going to interact with you energetically so i hope this video has snatched you a little bit i hope it has encouraged you to really think about your pricing structure and understand that that is great self-care for your business and for yourself and uh like i said earlier i'm on instagram under the evelyn inc would love to connect with you over there share this video with your favorite creative woman entrepreneur and let her know that yes increasing your prices not lowering your prices is a great form of self-care and i will see you in the next video